Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm here with another Cricut embellished layout. Okay, so today I have another layout with um, some uh, SVG files that I bought from Miss Kate Cuttables. I'm going to use this sheet of Bow Bunny Double Dot um, cardstock and I'm going to use the hexagon side today. I don't even know if you can see that pattern really um, but it's a tone on tone hexagon and these are from 2011. I had a huge stack of these kinds of cardstocks because I love them for backgrounds and I'm starting to run low and I think that's a good thing. It means that my products are getting put into layouts and into albums and um, I feel good about using these up, um, especially now that Simple Stories is making something comparable with their tone-on-tone um, -tone cardstocks that have the dots on them. Anyway, um, so the first thing I'm going to have to do is to um, take off this branding strip so that I have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper to put my layout on. And um, there is a lot of blue in this layout. It's about going to the hot springs. So it is uh, water themed, I guess. So I guess that's a good place to use the blue. There we go. Can you see that pattern? It's kind of a distressed hexagon. That's nice. Okay, and then I'm just going to ink around the outside edge of my page just to give it a little bit of definition like this is where the page ends because I'm not putting a border on this one. So often when I do um, these Cricut embellished layouts, I will have like a patterned piece of paper mounted on cardstock as my base. And this time I'm just going for the full sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock because I have quite a few photos I want to fit on here. I don't really have room for the border piece. So put that on there. I just so I inked that in Blueprint Sketch. And did I tell you the name of that paper? Probably not. I don't even know what it's called. And I threw the branding strip way away from where I am. Okay. Let's see, it is called Blueberry Stripe, because on the other side it's striped. But I'm using the hexagon side, so blueberry is the color. And I'm pretty sure Bow Bunny does not make these anymore since they were bought out by American Crafts. Now I have my six photos, which I think I want to get down on here first. And... Um, I have two vertical photos and the rest are horizontal because that's how my camera was back in the day. Uh, do I... Okay, so kind of thinking like this and hoping that I can cover up some of these strangers with my clouds and sunshine without covering up my own little cutie pie. There we go. Okay. There. So that I think is basically where I want my photos to be. I might spread these ones out a little bit. Okay. And then my hot spring sign goes down here. Now, I don't think the sign itself is uh, from Miss Kate. I think that one is from Cricut Design Space. And I just um, added the hot spring in like a font, a couple of fonts from my computer, I think. And then it's been a while since I designed these, but never did cut them out. Okay, so then I have like this is basically how I want my layout to go. Then I'm going to put some bubbles up here in three spots. So here 
maybe here because there's some like water space here and like brick here and then some uh, bubbles down here somewhere and then I need to get these splashes on here this arrow and uh, I need to print some journaling and uh, and a date for my photos okay so I'm gonna pause the camera here and do some gluing because that's really boring to watch and then um, type up my journaling and print it off and I will come back and finish this layout off with you guys okay so here is my completed layout and um, let's see what did I do I used some of that um, Swiss dot paper for my clouds as well as for my wooden sign here and I know that's really hard to see but you'll have to um, have a look at the close-ups I guess focus yeah so you can kind of see the dots there um, I also used vellum um, for my bubbles again as well as for the splash in behind my titling I used those little eye draw or eye drops um, uh, printable eyes um, and I will link those below from my scrap chick um, these are actually from teddy bear or something a long time ago but no longer exists so I will link some that you can print and I got some uh, journaling on there and I got my date on there and yeah I thought about adding a few other things but then I thought you know it's um, quite photo heavy so I feel like there's a lot on there already so I'm just gonna leave it as is so it was a nice short quick and easy layout this time around and uh, I didn't do anything new and exciting I just um, stuck with the design that I'd already made and the only thing I really did differently was to not uh, mount it on a like the patterned paper background onto a cardstock I just used a patterned cardstock instead so yeah I did ink the edges of my designs um, I did not do any doodling for this one and yeah that's about it so thank you so much for hanging out with me again today I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please click that like button to give me a thumbs up hit the show more button under the video description if you'd like to find links to anything that we talked about today and if you have a question or comment just leave it down below and I will get back to you just as soon as I can if you would like to see more of my videos, it would make my day to have you as a subscriber if you aren't already. Just click the subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos go up. Have a great day everyone. Bye for now.